Hello world, it's time for That's Life with Julie. That's me. And it's time to talk teens. I'd like to talk about, like us to think about, kind of the things that we say when you're the parent of a teenager. First thing, homecoming, proms. How many of you have gone through that? How many of you have had that, you know, where your son's getting all dressed up, maybe he rented a tux, has his nice suit on that he wears twice a year. Uh, He's invited some young lady to go and he goes and picks her up or maybe a carload of teens arrives at your house and you're getting ready to take photographs and suddenly you realize you need your reading glasses because you need to say, would you like me to help you find the rest of your dress? Oh my word! Okay, I know it sounds like I'm an old fogey, but it seems like every year that I get older, an inch goes up on the dress or an inch comes down on the top. You know what I'm saying? It's like the size of a little postal stamp right there. That's about how big the dress is. <sighs> Obviously, Kim Kardashian is doing styling nowadays. You know, there's a reality show called Say Yes to the Dress. I'm thinking there needs to be a new one called Say No to the Dress and can be all about smart parents who look at their daughter's homecoming dress or their prom dress and say, you know what? No, we're going to go for a little more fabric covering the hind end area and a little bit more fabric covering the front end. Okay, that's all I'm saying. More fabric. That's all I'm asking for as the mother of a teenage son. And yes, I know if this was to be taken to vote amongst teenage sons, mine included, they'd probably all think I'm a big fat dork. But that's okay. More fabric. That's what I want. More fabric. All right. Have you ever been cruising down the highway? just cruising with your teenager and suddenly oh, what is that what is that and you find yourself saying engaging fart flaps i love that i love those mechanized windows in the back that you can push a button and they go and they open up and allow air circulation as to not asphyxiate the driver and to put everybody in the ditch and kind of in line with that here's another thing that we often say as mothers of teenage sons Put down the toilet seat. 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 Put down the, okay, you get it? Yes, I know, I know. Wah, 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 wah. But you just, you gotta keep saying it. Okay, you think that you've read about some anger issues with me when I was raising my children, they were very young. <gasps> You have not seen anything until you see me after I have made contact in any degree with a nasty porcelain rim. I mean, I don't care if it's in my own house. It's nasty, nasty, nasty. Put down the toilet seat. And the final thing that has run through my mind as I'm uh, raising a teenage son, I was interviewing. It was pretty pretty big, pretty important interview with Dr. James Dobson, and I know everybody's got an opinion about Dr. Dobson. I focus on the family, and now he's with Family Talk, but say what you want. I respect the man. I really enjoy his, um, I just enjoy him. He reminds me of my dad. He's just a good guy, and I've been able to interview with him several times, so at this point, I was able to have just a comfortable conversation with him, so there we were. I was so proud. I was so proud I was able to bring my daughter, and Chris and I were going to interview about rebellious teenage daughters and moms and loving each other through that, and he got to meet my husband, Rick, who he'd heard stories about Rick, but never actually saw this living, breathing still with me, man, and then he got to meet Patrick. So there we were standing in the office, and it was just like, this is really cool. This is just a really cool moment that I'm going to remember for a very long time. And then I see Dr. Dobson kind of look at Patrick and check out kind of what Patrick's wearing, and he says, oh, that's a nice devil t-shirt that you have on, Patrick. I look over, and there's like Satan, like his head sticking out like this on Patrick's t-shirt. I'm like, what the heck? <sighs> and I thought to myself, thank you so much, Patrick. Thank you. Thank you. Mom is so happy that you chose it this day to wear your devil t-shirt, your satanic t-shirt. Thank you so much for wearing that for Dr. Dobson. Thank you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <sighs> oh, my word. What was he thinking? What was his mother thinking? Doesn't she look at the clothes he wears? <laughs> 
crazy kids, crazy teens, crazy things that come out of our mouth, crazy things that we think, crazy things that we do, and in all of it, we're still a family. We love each other. So hey, today your homework is this. I want you to love on, if you got a teenager, love on them. You know, they're like totally going to be like, mm, mm, okay, they're not going to be real thrilled with it. They're going to act that way, but they actually kind of like it. Give them a hug. I don't know, give them a kiss, rub their feet, scratch their back, fix their favorite meal, and tell them that you love them, because that is one thing that we can never say too much, too often, or too soon.